Good evening and welcome to Lutheran Church of the Ascension to our midweek Advent service. Our service this evening and, and all Wednesday evenings in Advent, we will be using the Holden Evening Prayer. And if you are familiar and would like to sing along, the words will be on the screen for you. So join in as you feel led, and if you'd just like to enjoy the music and enter into a time of prayer and reflection, feel free to do that as well. If you would like to see the service later have, or share it with somebody else, it'll be available both on YouTube and our YouTube page and Facebook as well. So tell a friend, and please join us in worship. You are the light of the world, the light no darkness can overcome. Stay with us now, for it is evening, and the day is almost over. Let 
May our prayers come before you, O God, as incense. And may your presence surround and fill us so that in union with all creation, we might sing your praise and love and, your, and have your love in our lives. Amen. Our scripture reading this evening comes from Paul's letter to the Romans, chapter 16, beginning with the 25th verse. Now to God, who is able to strengthen you according to my gospel and the proclamation of Jesus Christ, according to the revelation of the mystery that was kept secret for long ages, but is now disclosed, and through the prophetic writings is made known to all the Gentiles, according to the command of the eternal God to bring about the obedience of faith to the only wise God through Jesus Christ, to whom be glory forever. Amen. Paul's letter to the Romans concludes with this doxology, which is one very long sentence. You might, have, you might notice if you read it in person yourselves. And the subject of this sentence, glory, doesn't even appear until the end of the sentence. Essentially, the doxology is, now to God be the glory. We read this doxology near the end of this Advent season because we are turning, turning from our waiting and preparation to the anticipation of the announcement and the arrival of the Christ child the Gospel of Luke tells of the announcement of the angel Gabriel to Mary, and then with Mary in the Magnificat, which we will hear sung at the conclusion of this brief meditation this evening. We hear this annunciation as the revelation of, of the mystery that has been kept secret through the ages. We are fast approaching the celebration of the moment when that mystery is revealed to the world and to us. The beginning of this revelation is brought together with the hopes of the prophets, the longing of the law, and the expectations of all humanity. The revealing of this mystery, uh, the revealing of this mystery is done to all people, we read, to Jews and Gentiles alike. And it brings about the obedience of faith. For it is by faith that we will all ultimately be drawn together into the unity that the covenant that God has made with us through Jesus Christ, God's only Son. For just as Adam's disobedience brought about condemnation and death to all of God's creation, the obedience of the second or last Adam, Jesus Christ, is sufficient for all people. Christ's obedience offers righteousness and a fresh or new start to all of creation. For we are not made new by the law, but by the faith in, one, in the one who came to fulfill the law. And as we prepare to celebrate Jesus' birth, we are reminded of our own birth and rebirth through the waters of baptism, where we receive the power of God's gracious love. It's the greatest of gifts received through the obedience of faith. The faithfulness of God to us and our faith in the only wise God, through Jesus Christ, to whom be the glory forever. Amen. The light shines in the darkness, and the darkness has not, not overcome, overcome it. it.
Let us pray. Great and merciful God, source and ground of all goodness and life, give to your people the peace that passes all human understanding and the will to live your gospel of mercy and justice through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. God, remember us in your love and teach us to pray. Our Amen. Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Let us bless us. 